In the quiet dawn of human civilization, our ancestors held a profound relationship with the natural world, viewing it as both a sustainer and a sacred entity. This bond was not merely practical, but deeply spiritual, guiding their actions and decisions. However, as humanity advanced, technological progress began to outpace ethical reflection. The Industrial Revolution marked a significant turning point, catapulting us into an era of unprecedented growth and consumption. This shift brought about remarkable achievements but also a growing disconnect from nature. We started to see the environment not as a living system to coexist with, but as a resource to exploit. This fundamental change in perspective has led us to a critical juncture where the need for environmental ethics is more pressing than ever. Environmental ethics explores the moral relationship between humans and the natural world, challenging us to rethink our role and responsibilities. It is rooted in the belief that nature has intrinsic value beyond its utility to humans. This perspective invites us to consider the rights of non-human entities and ecosystems, urging a shift from an anthropocentric view to a more ecocentric or biocentric understanding. It questions the moral justification for practices that degrade the environment and advocates for a more harmonious and respectful coexistence. The rapid degradation of the environment has brought this issue to the forefront. Deforestation, pollution, climate change, and biodiversity loss are just some of the symptoms of our unsustainable practices. Each of these issues reflects a deeper ethical dilemma about how we value nature. For instance, deforestation, driven by the demand for timber and agricultural land, results in habitat loss and contributes to climate change. This practice not only endangers countless species but also affects indigenous communities who depend on forests for their livelihoods. From an ethical standpoint, the destruction of forests for short-term gains raises questions about justice, responsibility, and the rights of future generations. Climate change, perhaps the most pressing environmental issue, underscores the ethical dimensions of our actions. The burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial activities have led to an increase in greenhouse gases, causing global temperatures to rise. The impacts of climate change are widespread and severe, including more frequent and intense natural disasters, sea level rise, and disruptions to food and water supplies. These consequences disproportionately affect vulnerable populations, who contribute the least to the problem yet suffer the most. This disparity highlights the ethical principle of fairness and the need for those most responsible to take greater action to mitigate and adapt to climate change. The loss of biodiversity also presents significant ethical concerns. Human activities such as habitat destruction, pollution, and overexploitation of species are driving a mass extinction event. Biodiversity is not only vital for ecosystem stability but also has intrinsic value. Each species has a right to exist, and its loss diminishes the richness of life on Earth. Moreover, many cultures and communities have deep connections to local wildlife, which are integral to their identity and way of life. Protecting biodiversity, therefore, is not just an ecological imperative, but a moral one. Pollution, in its many forms, further illustrates the ethical challenges we face. Industrial waste, plastic pollution, and chemical contaminants have devastating effects on ecosystems and human health. For example, the widespread use of plastics has led to the accumulation of microplastics in oceans, harming marine life and entering the food chain. The ethical issue here revolves around our responsibility to prevent harm and to manage waste in a way that does not jeopardize the health of the planet and its inhabitants. Addressing these environmental challenges requires a profound ethical awakening and a collective commitment to change. It calls for the integration of ethical considerations into policymaking, corporate practices, and individual behaviors. Governments, businesses, and individuals all have roles to play in fostering a more sustainable relationship with nature. This involves rethinking our consumption patterns, investing in renewable energy, protecting natural habitats, and supporting conservation efforts. It also means holding those who harm the environment accountable and ensuring that the voices of those most affected are heard and considered. Education is a crucial tool in promoting environmental ethics. By incorporating environmental ethics into curricula, we can nurture a generation that values and respects nature. This education should emphasize the interconnectedness of all life and the importance of stewardship. 
It should also encourage critical thinking and empower individuals to make ethical choices in their daily lives. Through education, we can cultivate a culture of care and responsibility towards the environment. Cultural and spiritual perspectives on nature can also provide valuable insights into environmental ethics. Many indigenous cultures have a deep respect for the natural world, viewing it as sacred and interconnected with human life. These worldviews offer alternative ways of understanding and relating to nature, emphasizing harmony, reciprocity, and respect. Incorporating these perspectives into broader ethical discussions can enrich our understanding and inspire more holistic approaches to environmental stewardship. The concept of deep ecology, proposed by philosopher Orne Nice, further expands our ethical framework. Deep ecology advocates for a profound shift in how we view and interact with the natural world. It posits that all living beings have intrinsic value and that human life is just one part of a larger ecological web. This philosophy calls for a radical rethinking of our lifestyles, economies, and policies to align with the principles of ecological sustainability and respect for all life forms. Ecofeminism is another important strand of environmental ethics. It explores the connections between the exploitation of nature and the oppression of women, arguing that both are rooted in patriarchal structures. Ecofeminists advocate for a more just and sustainable world by addressing these intertwined forms of domination. This perspective highlights the need for gender equality and social justice as integral components of environmental ethics. The ethical principle of intergenerational justice is also central to environmental ethics. This principle asserts that we have a moral duty to protect the environment for future generations. Our actions today will shape the world that future generations inherit, and it is unjust to leave them with a degraded planet. This responsibility calls for long-term thinking and sustainable practices that ensure the health and viability of the Earth for all future inhabitants. Technological advancements offer both challenges and opportunities for environmental ethics. While technology has contributed to environmental degradation, it also holds potential for solutions. Renewable energy technologies, sustainable agriculture practices, and innovations in waste management can help mitigate environmental impacts. However, ethical considerations must guide the development and deployment of these technologies to ensure they are used in ways that benefit the environment and society as a whole. The role of policymakers is crucial in shaping a sustainable future. Legislation and regulations must reflect ethical considerations and prioritize the protection of the environment. This includes setting and enforcing standards for pollution control, protecting natural habitats, and promoting sustainable development. Policymakers must also consider the social and economic dimensions of environmental issues, ensuring that policies are just and inclusive. Businesses also have a significant responsibility in promoting environmental ethics. Corporate practices often have substantial environmental impacts, and businesses must adopt sustainable and ethical practices. This includes reducing carbon footprints, minimizing waste, and ensuring that supply chains are environmentally responsible. Businesses can also drive positive change by investing in green technologies and supporting environmental initiatives. Ethical business practices not only benefit the environment but also enhance corporate reputation and long-term viability. Individuals, too, play a vital role in fostering environmental ethics. Personal choices and behaviors can collectively make a significant impact. Simple actions such as reducing waste, conserving energy, and supporting sustainable products contribute to environmental sustainability. Moreover, individuals can advocate for stronger environmental policies and support organizations working towards conservation and sustainability. Personal responsibility and active engagement are key to creating a culture of environmental ethics. The media and arts have the power to influence public perception and raise awareness about environmental issues. Through storytelling, visual arts, and journalism, the media can highlight the importance of environmental ethics and inspire action. By portraying the beauty of nature and the consequences of its destruction, the media can evoke emotional responses and foster a deeper connection to the natural world. In conclusion, environmental ethics is a vital framework for addressing the complex and pressing environmental challenges we face. It calls for a profound rethinking of our relationship with nature and a commitment to stewardship and sustainability.
By integrating ethical considerations into our policies, practices, and daily lives, we can work towards a future where humans live in harmony with the natural world. This requires collective action, guided by principles of justice, responsibility, and respect for all life. As we navigate the Anthropocene, the age of human impact, embracing environmental ethics is not just a choice but a necessity for the well-being of our planet and future generations.